guys, this tutorial is on ORCA uh, transition state search. So we will um, use the results that we obtained from the previous tutorial on the potential energy surface scan um, to choose wisely a transition state guess and then we will optimize it, verify that everything is correct um, and then um, basically look at uh, the frequencies and re-optimize again and look at more frequencies and make sure that it's really what we are looking for. So um, let's get um, back to the results from the PS scan. This is um, the final result from our calculation there. Um, just very quickly. Uh, something like this. So when you um, approach those two molecules together, we use those dummy atoms to um, virtually kind of constrain um, the system and approach the two molecules closer and closer. And when you get the energy profile of this calculation, you get something like this. So the left axis, the y axis is the energy and the x axis is the step number. And the step number corresponds to the step number that is over here on the left in the trajectory. So now for the transition state uh, guess, we want a structure that is at the peak of this energy profile, kind of, or somewhere near. So we don't want anything here. This is way too far already. Um, basically getting to the products. We don't want anything here because it's too close to the reactants. We want something over here. So. Um, we can see, like every time you see a plateau, this is basically the beginning of a step and this is where the optimization converges. So we want the steps at this like square, um, this right angle tip somewhere here. So um, I had two transition state guesses. One was over here, one was over here. Uh, so it was like step 100, 90 or something but it will probably be different for you um, and um, so it looked something like this for me and when I was happy with the result here I just deleted these two dummy um, atoms as so and I was ready to make um, the input um, for ORCA for the transition state guess calculation. Now let's look at what the input looks like for the guess. Um, where is it? It's over here. So we use the same basis set on the same DFT. Everything is exactly as it was for the potential energy scan, except that now we do a, an, um, an optimization and a frequency calculation and we constrained two bonds um, between atom 0, 3 and atom 1 and 6, which correspond to carbons 1 and 4 and carbon 2 and 7. So remember that the, um, the label that you see here in Avogadro and the number that you put here in um, Orca are a difference of one. So carbon 1 would be actually um, labeled as 0 here. Um, everything else is the same. Uh, so after you run a calculation, your output would look something like this. Um, so here we get the, if you search for the vibrational frequencies, you will see this imaginary mode. And I had two guesses. One was at 1.2 angstroms and the other one was at 1.3. And so um, I also get an imaginary Ooh, someone's tired. <laughs> Sorry. An imaginary mode here uh, compared to the previous one is stronger. So let's also look at what it um, represents in 3D. So I will open the um, hasian that corresponds to this particular vibration here and let's see 
what the animation looks like. Okay, so this is basically exactly what I want to see and I'm very happy with it. Um, and now let's see the one that had a less strong imaginary mode and what it looks like. I think my computer can't handle that many clicks. All right. So now we see that it's not exactly what I am looking for because this bond is like already made and this one is just being made so it's not exactly what we want. Therefore I will take um, the previous, so this one, as the input for my actual transition state um, search. So when you're ready you can generate your input and now let's see how it differs from just the uh, the guess. So now we're not just optimizing things, we're optimizing a transition state, so you have to change this keyword. Um, also, um, there's different, we'll, we'll keep still a frequency because we want to check for the modes um, in the end. The important thing is don't forget to um, erase all the constraints. And um, the last kind of important part is what do you do with the Haitian? So if you open um, Orca's um, input library website helper thing and you go into um, the saddle point optimization, you will see that they give different um, ideas of what you can do to help your you find a better transition point. So one is if your uh, TS guess is very close and you're really happy with it, like what I have, um, you can just go ahead and kind of do your search and cross your fingers that everything's fine and then do the frequency calculation and check that it's okay. That's kind of what I did because I was very sure. Um, the other thing you can do is calculate um, a Haitian at the beginning of the run and then use it to help you have a better um, search. Uh, you can also recalculate the Haitian after several steps. So these are all the keywords you can find here. Um, what I did um, and what I most often do is that I use the Haitian from the transition guess the transition state guess um, calculation. So for this, you can use these lines over here. So you tell the program that you will read in a Haitian and you give the name of the file, the full name, um, like this in uh, quotation marks. And uh, obviously this file has to be in the same folder as um, your input and your output, okay? So after you run these calculations, what do we get? Um, let's see, so my um, geometry for the optimization looks like so. This is what I get. Oh, actually no, I want to f right away open the vibration. And now let's check what the um, imaginary mode corresponds to here. Again, this is exactly what we expect. And we can check at um, the convergence of our um, output just to make sure that everything is okay. So if you search for Hooray, you can see that the optimization has converged successfully. And if you check for frequencies, we will see that the imaginary mode is still there and it does indeed correspond to what we expect. So at this stage, if you're happy with what you have, you would do um, an IRC calculation. But for the sake of time, we will postpone it to the next tutorial. And on this, I am done. See you next time.